Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I wanted to show you a new product that I'm offering on my site, which is a 3D CAD file, which is available to download. And I want to walk through and show you some of the design elements that this 3D CAD file has. So let's get started. Uh, what you're seeing in front of you is just a conceptual uh, design. It's a small stand mount. And so the 3D CAD file that I'm offering is the circular horn that sits on top. And you can make this either by 3D printing or by CNC machining. And so it's expected that when you download these files that you do have a knowledge of how to 3D print or uh, CNC machine uh, this shape. So I'm going to assume for now that you know how to do that. And so what I'm gonna do is just walk you through the design. So it's a five inch woofer that's shown in this small stand mount cabinet. And you can see here that it's a kind of a simple, elegant design. And so it's just uh, for inspiration, um, what you can do with this circular horn. So typically you would set it on top of your base cabinet. And so this size format being seven inches in diameter, really is suitable for the five to six and a half inch diameter woofer range. So by using this configuration, you'll get uh, excellent results in terms of the off axis uh, matchup and integration when at the crossover point. And so I've just, <laughs> I have the SP Acoustics racetrack passive radiator on the back, which um, I can talk about that a little bit later, but for now let's let's look at what we have here. So I've decided to break the assembly, uh, sorry, the, the horn down into two different pieces. So we have the, the mouth piece and then we have the throat piece. And so um, it just really makes it a lot easier to manufacture. So if you're 3D printing it, you're gonna set it down and you're gonna print it in, in this direction. And so you can see the, the mouth flare, sorry, the throat uh, flare there. And so for the mouth piece, you're gonna do the same thing, uh, 3D print this, this shape here. And so if you wanna do it a little more advanced, if you're CNC machining this and you wanna have the uh, wraparound geometry, also, so I, ha I offer two different versions in the files that you receive. So the, the first version it has this straight uh, rollback, and the second version, the horn flare wraps right around to the back. And so um, let me just show you by suppressing this feature just in SolidWorks, this is what it would actually look like. And both files are included either as STL or IGIS file formats so you can if you want to do a more advanced build um, this would require you uh, initially uh, machining the back side of the horn with this special shape and then flipping it and then machining in a second setup machining the front of the horn so i offer two versions uh, depending on your skill level and your capabilities in in manufacturing this so just a note also that this is for personal use. Um, if you want to enter into a license agreement to produce these commercially, um, then please contact me. And so this is a one inch throat compression driver. Uh, it's, it's got your standard 76 millimeter bolt uh, spacing, which is used by pretty much all of the one inch compression drivers and it's using an M6 bolt. Uh, two bolts there and so I do have alignment features uh, so you can perfectly align the two components when you're when you're doing the assembly and it would be expected that uh, you would glue the two pieces together and um, you can also screw them together or do both just for added strength so you have uh, four screw holes one here 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 and here for the four screw holes to join the two together. Um, these top and bottom ones are just alignment uh, holes that are uh, common to both the throat and the, the mouth uh, parts of the assembly. And so this is just clearance for the bolt that mounts the driver itself. And so I have a little pedestal where you can bolt the uh, horn assembly to the top of your base cabinet. And so you can kind of decide to do that or, uh, or, or something else. So, 
So just going back to the to the main assembly. So this is again a five inch woofer just for uh, comparison to see uh, what would look good. And I also did a rendering here of the speaker to show what it would look like with the photorealistic rendering. So it's it's quite an elegant design. And so also if you're if you're interested, I do offer custom design services where if you need additional support with either crossover design or figuring out the base cabinet, then that's something that I can certainly support uh, for a fee. And so you can simply contact me and uh, I can provide a quote. So there you have it, um, the products on my site currently. Um, and so if you are interested in the performance, um, I do offer now specification sheets which walks you through the test data on the horn and you can see here that I do have the actual test results with the TAD TD2001 compression driver and you, so you can see here that it's providing a, a nice linear response um, the impedance curve uh, burst decay showing that this horn is offering a very clean low resonance uh, sound quality and so step, res step, step response is shown here as well uh, extremely fast uh, decay with uh, no anomalies whatsoever so distortion uh, distortion here is harmonic and it's simply showing that there's no uh, issues there as well so uh, this is a standard uh, that I'll be continuing to do as a PDF publication data sheet that you can uh, hopefully I'll be um, showing this for all of the products that I introduced. This just simply helps you uh, navigate and compare the different products that I have. Um, so additionally, uh, if you're interested in the technical drawings, there's a PDF link there as well that shows the overall size. Um, I'm just showing the cabinet sizes so that you know uh, for reference what kind of uh, what size of cabinet I'm showing here. Um, and then the assembly drawing as well showing the various sizes of each component so that it allows you to know uh, whether this is going to fit your printer or your CNC machine. I'm also including um, the IGES and STEP files of this assembly that just has it laid out on a one foot by one foot base. Um, this will help you in your CAM programming or your programming for your 3D printer. Um, it's just setting it up um, in, in, a, in a way that is just convenient. Uh, for that. So that's it for today. Um, take care and have a great day.